All right, and we're we're very um, way too excited, but we'll try to contain ourselves, which isn't always our forte. But on the phone, the the man, the myth, the legend, Kenny Monday. Thank you so much for joining us, uh, Kenny. It, it really is an honor for us. You bet, guys. My pleasure. My pleasure. And absolutely. W- and with great timing, um, you know, obviously your career is amazing and everything like that. But uh, yep. coming off a huge weekend for your son Kennedy. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, man. That was uh, that was a fun night. You know, it was a fun night. You know, Virginia Tech is a great program. They bring a great crowd, and and they, and they are just really. Um, I mean, just an amazing crowd, and, they, and to watch the watch that crowd be so quiet. Because I've been there, you know, <laughs> on on a couple of different occasions, and they just they just turn it up, man. I've been there when, of course, when UNC wrestled them, and now went last year when when Princeton wrestled them, and they get fired up, and um, it was like a horror movie because they were just like sitting there, just you know, just couldn't believe it, couldn't believe their eyes. <laughs> it was kind of fun. Oh, absolutely. I, I know. Uh, it was a I fun mean, night. Well, Virginia Tech's uh, athletic department's done a really good job uh, investing in in that program, and obviously what Dresser was able to do, and now Roby. Right. But right. Uh, yeah, man, Kennedy went in there. I mean, like you know, I thought it was going to be a close match in the first place, but mm-hmm. holy smokes, he he blew him out. Yeah, yeah, he wrestled well. I, mean, I think Kennedy, uh, he really had a great had a great mindset going into it. Great attitude. He was looking forward to it. I think he's. He was really fired up because he kind of missed a couple opportunities to, to, to against the right, uh, rank wrestlers. I think he wrestled Stanford and the kid was ranked seventh or eighth and, and then the Midlands and he you know, kind of missed some opportunities there. So he was really, uh, he was really looking forward to, to wrestling, um, McFadden, you know, so it, it was exciting. We had a great, great training since, uh, since the Midlands and, uh, since the New Year's and, um, he's really just kind of really starting to feel feel better about the weight class and, and um and so he's he's so good going into it so I, I feel i feel i felt that he would wrestle well i really did oh that's that's great and he gets the uh acc wrestler of the week award and yeah it's yep. his first one that's his first one ever yeah that's a, that's amazing so uh <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah a, a so he's, pr- he's pumped he's pumped he's <laughs> pumped <laughs> That's awesome. We're we're big fans of of him and and Quincy, um, as we've had an affinity towards the Princeton wrestling program for the uh, right. duration of this podcast, and right, it's, right. it's it's really cool to see. And then I I just starting off the off the gate though here, it's it's an Olympic year, uh, something you're very familiar with, of course, and uh, yep. um, being a, a three time Olympian, and it's right. just a. Uh, it's so crazy because everyone's talking about Dake and Burroughs and Cox and, uh-huh. and Taylor and Snyder and, and the contraction and it, with it being an Olympic year and all these battles and how they're saying it's unprecedented. But in 1988, right. you took a spot from Dave Schultz, who was coming off five straight Olympic and world medals, and then uh-huh. you were essentially surrounded by – you know, guys like and battling, uh, you know, the Rob Coles and and Royce Alger and uh, you know, you have Mark Schultz, you have, uh, uh, I mean, you just had a, a murderer's row of people. Kevin Jackson coming in there uh, later yep. on. I mean, yep. you, you just yep. you had battles yourself that those are a lot of world medals with a lot of people that you had to face just here domestically. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I can. I can uh, I can honestly say I've wrestled some of the best some of the best guys ever uh, just around my weight class. So of course, I'm I'm definitely partial to to 74 kilo um, wrestling day. But you know, of course, I had Nate at battles with Nate Carr and oh, yeah. all through college, college. And then, of course, when we got out of college, it was we were still battling. You know, it was yeah, so, yeah, so crazy. So Nate and then Dave and then Johnny Johnson and so yeah, we had some we had some tough guys. In the weight class that uh, I had to kind of navigate myself through, and um, you know, but I was I was you know very excited, and very um, very blessed to be able to have greatness that I had to to um, you know get myself up for, and because it really it made me great to have that great competition, and um, I know I wouldn't have been uh, as great as I uh, became without that kind of competition, so. You know, I, I thank those guys, and, and um, they, they made me a better man. Well, and I'm sure coming out of the, you know, uh, especially I actually just watched your your 88 trials matches with uh, 
with Schultz today right. in preparation yep. for this. I mean, you know, how confident do you feel coming out of those matches, uh, which definitely got pretty heated, which was awesome to see. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, how oh, confident yeah. do you feel coming out of that being like, you know, I just beat him 2-0. Like, right, right, right. Well, you know, actually, it kind of, it kind of, it started, you know, pretty much in 87. You know, I kind of got better every year after, after I graduated college, 84, came out in 84. And like I, we talked about before we came on, I was in the 84 Olympic trials and Dave was the guy and Lee Kemp was the guy that was the guy before Dave. And so I kind of watched those guys grow and watched those guys before, you know, my time came. And so, um, so just the progression that I've made from 84, to 88 was, uh, was, a, was just amazing, you know, just being able to, um, compete against those guys, uh, on that level was just, um, it was remarkable. But I lost to Dave in the 87 World Team Trials, and that was the last time I wrestled Nate because we were still in the same weight class. Uh, and I beat Nate two in a row, two matches in a row, and, uh, so I kind of, kind of passed Nate, and then I, that was the first year that I beat Dave. He beat me the first match, I beat him the second match. And then he beat me the third match to make the 87, 87 world team. So I was kind of hot after that. You know, I was, I was getting better, but I wasn't quite there yet. And then I went to, uh, went to Tbilisi, uh, 87. And so I kind of got my really first real taste of, of Russian wrestling. Yeah. And, uh, you know, cause that was, that's probably that, well, it is, it was the toughest tournament that I had ever competed in. And, and it was just an amazing tournament. The whole tour was amazing because then, back then, we only not only did we do the tournament, we had dual meets before the tournament. So we would go on these tours, and then we would have three dual meets before the tournament. And so I was, I mean, that's 10, <laughs> 11 matches that you would have on on, on just straight badass wrestlers, you know what I mean? Right. Russians, because then, back then, it was the Soviet Union. Oh. So there wasn't all these republics, and everybody was battling to make that one spot. And uh, so every every wrestler that you wrestled was like one or two points away from each other, and yeah. so it was just a, it's a tough trip. It was a tough trip. So that first year in '87, Dave won in '87, and I got fifth. And then that next year, January of '88, I won the Tbilisi tournament. And so after that tournament, man, I was like, okay, <laughs> if I can win this thing, <laughs> you know, I can I can I can win anything if I can win this tournament. So I was ten and zero on that tour in '88. And so after that. I came back and I'm like, okay, I can win. This this is this interview is going to be a little bit disjointed from the outline I thought because now I'm going to Hello. go into Jordan Oliver who. I